Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to evolve our basic Mason Club Grave Digger by adding a 360 to the top. Adding a 360 to our basic Mace Grave Digger does something very important. It tricks people into standing all the way up at the top of the movement. Oftentimes when people do Grave Diggers, if they have bad posture already, they will maintain poor postures throughout the range of movement. Adding the 360 to it is a way to force people to go from the catch to standing all the way up to regain their natural human standing position and then move to the other side. It is a simple idea, but most people who live in the modern world and who have a modern job that requires them to sit at a desk have deteriorating posture over the course of their life. We would like to fight that with simple exercises. So let's do this in two pieces. We'll review the Mace Grave Digger, then we will do the 360, then we will put it together. Our Mace Grave Digger has been covered in a previous video. We are gonna start with feet generally shoulder width apart, pointed straight ahead. If one foot is turned out in some weird way, look at it, try and point your feet straight ahead. This has the intended consequence of keeping people from externally rotating and collapsing their arches when they're doing this activity which could cause knee pain. Point your feet straight ahead. If you have knee pain or back pain, you might even turn them in five degrees to force the arch of your foot to fire harder. Start with the weight outside the line of your foot. Base arm perfectly straight. Straighten your arm all the way out. Drive your shoulder away from your ear. Pick up with your legs first. Push and pull. Get to our neutral catch position with the mace or the arc. Get it all the way down, straight arm at the bottom each time. Start with your legs to get the weight up, push and pull to get to the balance. Now let's review the 360, top hand, past the opposite ear. Catch, catch, catch. The important part of the 360 is the big swing behind my back and the catch position. When we catch, hand down, elbow angle 90 degrees, above 90, below 90, 90 degrees, flat wrist, drive your shoulders away from your ears. Big swing and catch. The top hand is the important one. Now let's take those two exercises and slam them together. The grave digger to get it up, transition our hand down to a 360, and then we're gonna to transition to the other side. Starting with two feet pointed straight ahead, judo chop the hips, keep the heels flat on the ground, base arm perfectly straight, stand up, pull and push to get to our balanced position. Take the top hand, slide it down. Top hand goes past opposite ear. Big 360. Bottom hand becomes the top hand. Get it down, straighten out the arm all the way down touch it down. Stand up with the legs, push, pull, get to balance, slide the hand down, top hand past opposite ear, bottom hand becomes the top hand, straighten the arm all the way out, grave dig down, stand up, catch, and get down, catch, and get down, catch, and get down. Now that you've seen it, Let's talk the cues. We start with that straight arm at the bottom, other hand on the handle, pull, push to get to our balanced position. That top hand is gonna slide down the handle, top hand past opposite ear. That's the important part, stand all the way up, get back to balance. Top arm, 90 degree angle, elbow on the body. Bottom hand becomes the top hand, get it, to our straight arm position, squeeze the tricep, drive the shoulder away from the ear. Get all the way down, stand up, pull, push, get to the balance point. Slide the hand down, top hand, opposite ear, around the head, catch, bottom hand becomes the top hand, and start a new rep. This exercise combines a lot of things. It combines a power clean with a mace from the side, which is kind of how humans have been doing it for a long time. We like this exercise because it's not symmetrical. 
in the real world, the world is not set up like a barbell. When you dig a hole with a shovel, it is an asymmetrical exercise. It involves pushing and pulling and moving weights from outside your body line toward your body line or away from your body line. So we are mimicking that direct thing. We are adding in that 360 at the top to force people away from their office posture and get them back towards a full standing posture. This 360 movement is one of the most important movements in all of human history, and it does define us as a human species. It allows us to throw things, it allows us to use hammers, it allows us to use all basic tools, which are all levers, and it forces us to breathe the way that we are supposed to breathe. Inhale when the chest is open, exhale when the chest is closed. Take this exercise, start with a light weight, build it up. With light weights, it could be five to 10 minutes of this exercise. With heavy weights, like an adjustable 8X arc or mace, where you can increasingly add weight, start to build up towards the 30 to 50 pound mark for this exercise.